What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I look very tired today because I just woke up from midnight shift, but grind don't stop there. So I got a lot of people asking me a lot of times about like side work, side hustle, things outside of uh, my day-to-day -day job, like how I make money sometimes. And I'm actually going to dive into that today. And the first question is I always get uh, because one of the main things that me and my brother do as a side hustle is we scrap vehicles. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about breaking the vehicle down to make the most amount of money because if you've been in the game long enough, you know what you're doing. And if you haven't been and you're first getting started, you'll figure it out on your own or you'll reach out to somebody that you may know and find the best way to make money through breaking the car down instead of just hauling the car straight to scrap uh, getting the money back that way. Uh, me and my brother have been doing this for quite some time, honestly, and there's a pile of opportunities to break these vehicles down to make the most amount of money and the best bang for your buck. Um, just to cover the top parts, uh, people will say like radiators and starters, alternators, things like that. I'm sure there probably is money, but me and my brother do not waste our time with that. Uh, a lot of that stuff can be pretty time consuming to get to. Uh, getting rid of a lot of the fluids and things like that can be quite a pain and we are not in it for that. We are in for turning money as quick as humanly possible and that's what we do. But there's a lot more expensive parts on vehicles um, that you'll figure that out on your own. Like I said, you either know what you're doing or you don't, but that's not what I'm covering. I'm covering the scrap part of vehicles and is it a profitable, is it actually, could you do it full time? Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys right now what I'm gonna haul into scrap with the second gen today. Um, get that out of the way. And I'm gonna show you guys, can you, is this something that you can realistically do for a living to make money? Is a scrapping vehicles worth it? And I will show you guys. I will show you guys actually dollar for dollar what I make off of this vehicle and I might even point out a few things to for the beginner to get into. So, show you guys. Right, guys. So here's the setup. Uh, obviously, the second gen, which has been in plenty of videos, but uh, this car was flooded. Um, that's why we're hauling it in for scrap. Uh, it's hard to say how much weight and how much other things are in there. Um, we'll take it up, and I'll show you the complete slip. Um, you can see the car is packed full of as much as humanly possible. Um, but I will show you guys the slip of how much this car weighs and everything. This is a 2000 pound trailer and it's hard to really say what the truck weighs, honestly, but, uh, I'll show you guys what it is, how much it weighs and how much we bring in. Now I will tell you this, a lot of scrap yards are different. It just depends on which one you're around, but you lose money with tires. Um, you lose money with fluid if it has any in it things like that. So if you're just getting into this, those are all things to consider. If somebody would buy the wheels and tires, that would be preferred because really you're losing money by keeping them on the car. It's actually locally to me, it's $5 a wheel. So keep that. Before we take this, let me just mention how good a 12 valve coming sounds. So guys, this is why you want to kind of have a designated work truck. Uh, it doesn't look too bad back here yet, but once we get up here a little bit more, this scrapyard is really shitty. I don't know how else to say that. So it's kind of nice to not have to take your brand new vehicle through this. So just kind of keep that in mind also. But we're going to put this on the scale up here. Going to see how much it weighs, get it unloaded. Uh, we'll see what it's going to be with the tires taken off. And I will show you guys what it weighs with and without. Uh, while I'm waiting to unload, that's what I'm talking about, guys. There's just scrap metal everywhere. I mean, this is like a normal, this is a normal scrap yard everywhere you kind of go. But this is what you're going to see. So if you got some expensive wheels or stuff like that, you definitely don't want to come back here. And you can only imagine how this looks whenever it rains and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. So like I said, showing you everything from this standpoint. Uh, you already see my tag number, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, the weight, uh, 
I'm trying to drive. Probably not the best way, huh? But anyway, the weight before was 11,820 pounds. Uh, and then you just subtract 8,660 pounds. And whatever the scrap weight is going for in your area, it ranges anywhere from $6 a hundred to $11 a hundred, which I've heard, I've never seen the 11, but that would be nice. But anyway, and you literally just multiply whatever that number is times whatever the weight is. So like say, I don't know, the, I'd have to do the math on this, but say that this is like 3,000, you would do three zero times 7.50 and that would tell you how much money you made with the subtraction of tires. So let me go get paid for this and let me show you guys what I made. And God, is it so hot outside. But anyway, so you got some cash. So anyway, to end the video, is it profitable to scrap vehicles for a living? Um, if you know how to break them down correctly, absolutely. This car that was loaded up today um, was 100% free. Uh, it didn't cost me or my brother a dime. So we got the car for free. Um, I can go into a whole nother video on how you break these cars down to make the most amount of your income, but I'm going strictly off the weight of the car, subtract the tires. I'm not subtracting fuel, uh, my equipment costs, you know, trailer, truck, anything like that. This is strictly just what I made off of scrap alone, which is never really that good. This is not, if you're in this kind of business, you know, as well as I know, this is not where you make your money, but can you, do this for a living say you got one of these every day okay say you got one of these cars every single day i worked for two hours this is how long it took me to load the car take it to scrap come back i had two hours invested and the amount of money that was profited was 185 dollars. so two hours for 185 dollars is 92 dollars and 50 cents an hour um is what i made for pretty much just this haul now again that is not the money that's not where your big money is with these vehicles and maybe i probably will break down another video of it but yeah uh this is what it takes most people in a day uh with a pretty probably 30 dollars an hour right now boy taxes and stuff probably about 30 dollars an hour to make and i did it in two hours so can you do this for a living sure you're gonna need a lot of luck and a lot of free vehicles but 185 dollars two hours of my time, $92 an hour. Can you do it? Absolutely. Should you do it? Absolutely. And I have another trailer with other profits that I'm going to show you guys with my dump trailer that we just picked up. And I'm going to make another YouTube channel. I'm kind of rambling at this point. I'm going to make another YouTube channel to show you guys how you make profit off of these trailers, how you make profit off of your equipment. And when I get into some skid steers and stuff, how you guys do that. So I know this is different from what I normally make, but at least it involved the Cummins to a certain degree. So guys, until next time, I appreciate all your support and support those who support you. See yous.